what's your strategic approach to the business? If you don't have a strategic approach to your business, it can feel like you're in a never-ending version of the arcade game Whack-A-Mole, where issues keep popping up and you're expected to handle them instantly. But what we soon realize is that the issues popping up may not align with our priorities. Those darn moles. Research with 250,000 executives found that the most important role of a leader is setting strategic direction and it's also the number one factor that improved organizational health. Another study of 60,000 leaders found that having a strategic approach is 10 times more important to the perception of a leader's effectiveness than any other behavior. So how do you develop a strategic approach to your business? The strategic approach system has been designed to help you navigate your business and at the same time develop your strategic leadership capabilities. Within the system are more than 100 tools, techniques, tips, and checklists that are invaluable in helping you stay on top of your business and maximize your strategic leadership potential. The strategic approach system can be used by executives who'd like to work directly with me and it can also be licensed by executive coaches who want a comprehensive and content-rich platform to help their clients develop their strategic leadership capabilities. For those executive coaches out there who license the system, they receive the Strategic Approach System Coaches Guide, which is a 25-page document that enables you to do a deep dive into each of the four areas of the system and has concise descriptions of each and every tool. For instance, in the strategic fitness section, one area is decision making. And one of the pages we have here from the coach's guide shows a number of the decision making tools that you as a coach might work with your client on helping them develop from a skill set perspective. So each tool is listed with a short description to provide you with an understanding of what that tool is and why it may make sense to implement it where you'd like to, to see fit. Once you get to the home page of the strategic approach system, there are four areas of executive performance, strategic, leadership, organizational, and communicational fitness. At the bottom of the home page, you can download the white paper, What is Your Strategic Approach? And the white paper really provides an in-depth description of the importance for leaders to develop their holistic strategic leadership capabilities and it also provides some brief tools and techniques a glimpse into what the system can offer. Also on the bottom of the home page you can access the 80 question strategic approach assessment and this assessment is a very valuable tool in helping the coach myself or another executive coach identify which areas are strengths in which areas we may want to develop. Once the assessment is complete, a report is generated and the leader is scored in the four areas of strategic leadership, organizational and communicational fitness. Based on the assessment then, that gives us as a coach a guide to say here are the areas of strength and here are the areas that we may want to focus on from a developmental standpoint. So let's say the executive is taken the assessment and one of the areas for development is communicational fitness. So we click on that area and we bring up a number of different tools around communication, external stakeholders, and meeting governance. So let's say as a leader one of the areas we want to focus on is developing our ability to concisely communicate our strategy. So we may click on the strategy print which brings up this tool uh, we see page one of the example of the strategy print which provides in uh, insights around the market, company, customers, competitors, and then page two, which is the brief strategic action plan. Then as a leader, we take the opportunity to develop our own strategy print. So we have an editable PDF that we can type into and record our strategy print. After we finish the tool, we have the opportunity to print it in hard copy, or we can save it as a PDF to our computer. Another valuable asset within the strategic approach system is the strategist journal. This is an interactive forum that helps us methodically structure our strategic thinking and planning. 
so there's a number of different tools provided that act as a guide so when you're taking time out of your busy workday to think and plan strategically it actually gives you a step-by-step -step process to structure your strategic thinking and planning so you have a forum potentially to write down your goals objectives strategies tactics for the week the month the quarter and then you can create your strategic framework there's an area to record your insights your learnings that are leading to new value and there's also things that you can do to track your time uh, make trade-offs and all the other important strategic leadership skills that we really need to practice on a regular basis so the strategist journal gives us a way to develop that habit of thinking planning and acting strategically and then the last area to mention is the videos there are several dozen videos that highlight some of the key tools from the strategic approach system so it can help you better understand the tool as you go through and, and work on it or it can also help refresh if you haven't used the tool in a while and want to get back up to speed on how exactly to use that. A researcher at Harvard Business School sums it up very nicely when he says after 20 years of research it is clear that mastery of strategy is not an innate skill most great CEOs learn how to become better strategic thinkers. We need to remember fine wine naturally gets better with age, but leaders don't. To achieve your strategic leadership potential, you need a guide, you need tools, you need knowledge, and you need to do it on a regular basis consistently to help build those strategic leadership capabilities into habits and skill sets which become strengths that you leverage to reach your leadership potential. In this competitive landscape that we're in today, we need to remember it's be strategic or be gone.